hello hello i'm back so the devil eggs are done so this container it holds 24 devil eggs so basically each of these come out right and you got 12 and 12 so sometimes when i'm doing my fruit i'll put my honeydew in here and i'll put my strawberries in here or pineapple whatever fruit that i'm eating and uh i just wanted to show y'all that and let's get it started oh my spices i know i'm not using seafood but i don't care i still put it in there the old bay turmeric white pepper again but now we're going to spice it up with hot sauce just a dash well two dashes always use spicy brown mustard we're going to do a squirt just a squirt of the chick-fil-a sauce because this is my first time using this and let's not forget the mayonnaise I only use vegan oh, okay there we go all right so let's get it started and we're going to open this because I'm going to slice them. The egg is going to go in here and that part is going to go in here. And it's best to do this because, man, if you wait, because I've done it. If you wait after, like, say, like an hour to two hours to do this, you're going to break that egg all up. My grandmother always said do it, like, within 15, 20 minutes. So I kept running hot water on it because this is going to be hot. I don't know how she was standing there. You, you're not going to have me burning my hands. So, uh -uh. Rinse it off. Grab the knife. Oh, still got eggshells on me. We don't want no accidents. Because they be getting... Look, if anybody that's watching this and you ever done devil eggs before, it seems like everything just stick to you. We're going to take this out for now. Put it here. And we're just going to plop them in there. Uh oh. You know what? I forgot the paprika. That's the last thing that you put on the. We're going to take that out. And the fish is still in the oven. So I'm killing two birds with one stone with this video. So I give it about. Because it was extra thick. So. I give it about four more minutes and then I'll take it out and show it to y'all. So right now it's like hot. It's all get out in here. Now usually what I do, I don't do them one at a time like this, but I just want y'all to see like how it's done because everyone, uh oh, everybody don't know how to make double eggs. So it doesn't matter how you put them in there because they're made for eggshells. So it's been about, what, maybe about 10 minutes, coming up on 15 minutes. So it's getting hard to get in there now. And the silver spoon makes a big difference too. Big difference. Do not use plastic. I cannot stress that enough. Do not use plastic. Say it's hard to come off now. I got to get in there. There we go. And you want to gently do this. If you can't, if you don't have uh, gentle hands, I think I'm saying that right or wrong. Meaning, like, if it's too delicate for you, then please find somebody else to do it because you just want to ruin it. And then the person is going to be unhappy. With the fact that you especially like me man i eat double eggs all day i'll eat it for breakfast lunch dinner just like that salmon that i got in the oven right now i will do it all i'm just gonna sit this here because it'll make it go faster if i just crack them all and then slice them up because we don't have all day and i don't know how to do the time speed on here this is the iphone so I'm still learning and I'm going to have to YouTube it myself. So YouTube has everything. I don't care what nobody say. YouTube has everything and it's free. You watch people all over the world. That's what I like about YouTube. 
you can learn stuff how to do your hair how to do double eggs uh what to order at the i don't know if somebody got that what to order at the restaurant or how to order it because you know some people got stuff going on so but yeah you can how to do hair like I mean, I don't need it because I, you know, this is not the video for that, but I know how to do everything, so I don't need it for that. But to work that iPhone, yes, I do need it for that because this is my first iPhone, so. Should I get all these shells off? Because that's the worst thing. Oh, and one more thing. I don't put uh onions red peppers i don't put none of that stuff i like my eggs with just that stuff right there and then the paprika on top that's it my friend my ex back in philly he was like why do they call it uh why do they call it devil eggs and i said i don't know i guess because of the uh the the paprika that you sprinkle on top i don't know like nobody never told me and i never asked nothing like that so i don't know why they call it uh devil eggs because if that was the truth, who in the world would want to eat a real <laughs> devil's egg from you know who? So I don't know about all that, but I don't care. I'm still gonna eat them. So, and I only do it like I only do the eggs, the double eggs, because like I said, I'll eat them for breakfast, lunch, snack, dinner, bedtime snack. I don't care. So I um. I only make them once every three months because eggs, from what my doctor told me, eggs give you high cholesterol. I used to eat, like, in my early 20s, I was eating, like, six eggs a day. And this is not counting what I gave, you know, what I gave my son for breakfast. This is not even counting that. So, there's only one left in here. Hallelujah. So, yeah, uh, so I don't, I, I don't, high cholesterol, from what my doctor was telling me, it leads to other stuff that you can't always fully come back from. So, I don't want to take no chances. I, don't, I do not eat six eggs for breakfast no more. I eat eggs. As far as scrambled eggs, I might eat scrambled eggs like twice a month. That's it. But devil eggs, when I get done, and I'm going to give five of these to my neighbor. Cause he always look out for me and he be cutting my grass and stuff so he cool but um when i when i get done these gonna be gone because today is wednesday they gonna be gone by friday if 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 they even last that long they might be they might be gone before that all right that's done so let's get this finished Pluck it right out. Pluck it in here. Pluck it in there. And matter of fact, let me separate this. Cause sometimes I only make enough. I only do 12. And sometimes I do like if I'm invited, you know, to somebody's house or something, I'll do like 24. But don't expect onions and relish and all that stuff. Nope. Mm -mm. And see, people. Most people, when they bring a, a, a gift, I mean a dish, they don't, um, they either don't ask, like, how do you want it or something? Because most people be like, well, I'm bringing a dish, that should be enough, you know, but you'll know if people don't like your stuff, because it'll be still sitting there when the party's over with. That's how you find out that people don't like your cooking. And somebody told me way, way back when I was like 18 or 19, and um, around the time that I met my son's father, and they were saying, um, if you ever go to somebody's house and you don't like their food, pour ketchup all over or pour, uh, pour um, hot sauce all over it. So that's what I did. Because even, even though my grandmother taught me how to cook, she taught me like stuff like beef wellington and stuff like that, not no devil eggs like i had i learned that on my own how to do uh devil eggs and the more you experiment the more that you learn stuff and people don't understand that so we're gonna put six there and just so my fingers don't hit them 
we're gonna move that one over there like that all right i'm gonna push this one it's kind of crooked now i don't always do this cut them up because i do have this thing right here but it helps Got a bigger, um, oh, that one is not, uh, um, let's use this, that way I can just go crazy with, uh, pushing this thing, and don't have to worry about it falling out, because if it fall out, I just pick it up, uh-oh. Now, my mom, she did hers in a blender, and it's only me eating it, and my neighbor, like I told y'all, he's like Mikey, so whatever I fix, he'll eat it, so it don't matter. It ain't got to be like 100% smooth, you know? And matter of fact, I forgot the fish is ready. Okay, let's stop that. I'll show y'all in a few minutes. Let me finish doing this. together with this now before I before I start that let me show y'all the fish look at that don't that look good and it smells heavenly that's still sizzling and that piece is thick when uh, the hurricane hit us I don't know what was going on, but because the trucks didn't come, they uh we didn't get no seafood. And I went like two days after, right, to get the uh to get the salmon, and they had those prices magically went up. So they went up from fifth between fifteen and eighteen dollars, twenty dollars, which is what I usually pay. Depends on what's in there, what's left in there. And um, now they was like $50. I think the highest pack was like $55. I was like, what the? I was like, oh, heck no. Mm -mm. Nope. Not going to do it. That's crazy. Let me stir this up a little bit. I said, I'm not going to do that. Nope. So I waited and I went back yesterday. And that's that. Uh, I wish I would have took a picture of the whole thing or a video. But anyway that was a 34 dollar slab and they said because it was getting ready to expire they chomped it down to uh chomped it down to uh 15 dollars so instead of paying 30 i paid 15 dollars oh yeah i gotta put uh salt in here too just a just a little 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 smidgen of salt all right so now <sighs> Um, whew, I'm burning. Let's do this hot sauce first. One, two, and one more for good luck. And then the squirt of Chick-fil-A sauce. Yep, that's about it. We got the white pepper. My hands are still wet. Remember what I said. I'm going to use a little bit because this stuff is strong. The white pepper, it has a kick to it. It's way more potent than the um, than the black pepper. And I never even knew it was white pepper. I just found out, like, when did I find out? I found out that it was white pepper, I think, last year sometime. So, I've been using it since then. I do that because it's always... Uh, residue like watery like kind of so the turmeric I've been using turmeric 
so long. I don't even, well, I don't know if you could taste it, but I I put it in everything except like ice cream, my oatmeal, and uh, uh, let's see, ice cream, oatmeal, grits, cream, and wheat. I don't put it in stuff like that because I think that it would probably taste nasty. So I definitely should have used a bigger, a bigger bowl. I don't know what I'm thinking about. So, I do need a blender, but I don't have one. I would have to put it, like, in my smoothie thing, and I don't think it would come out right because it's not made for that. So, I had a hand blender, but I don't know what happened to it when I moved to the... Mm. The more... It needs more, uh... It needs the salt, and it needs more of the hot sauce. So, we're going to get that... And I only use the pink salt. So just one twist. Because the last time I put, let's see, more pepper. Mm, I still got mayonnaise in here, so I'm not going to throw that away. this up one more time because I uh, that salmon is calling me I forgot to get the paprika while I was over there This is the only thing I taste when I'm cooking. I don't taste nothing else. Nope. All right, so. My mom used to do this so fast. Like the bigger or the deeper, put it like that. The deeper the, uh. Uh-oh. Let me move this. Mm. My finger. Move this over here so y'all can see. So the deeper the pocket, that's the best way to say it, then the more you put in there. should be enough to do both of them both trees I'll add some more in this one and man that joint is good wait till it get cold Whew. Mm, mm, mm. all right so we're gonna sit this here around let's do this one this one is a real deep one. And then whatever is left, I just go back and just add it on top of everything else. So they be pretty heavy and thick when you, uh, I know it's probably seem like I'm doing extra, but I'm not. But these are really, really deep. And that's the last one. Now I can start filling up the other ones. Just a little bit more and then go back to the other ones. All right. All right. Put that there. So let it sit. Like once you get done everything, I would say an hour, but if you want to start chomping them, like, within 30 minutes, just let them get cold, and you'll see the, uh, the difference. The last time I made these, 
Oh my God, they were so salty because I didn't taste them first and they I had to throw them away. I was so mad because I only use brown eggs because they're more healthier. So now let's do mm. this in here. Move all this out the way. Paprika. Here I cut them. Paprika. Here we go. So. And you only need to tap. Now at the restaurants, what they do, they take a rag and they individually, well, they used to. Thing, times have changed. And they used to, um, take a rag and wipe the white part so you only saw the paprika on the on the um on the egg oh, yeah these drones gonna be gone before friday <laughs> they gonna be gone before friday trust me and i was gonna give him five he getting three because like i said i am i don't mind sharing my food now Especially if you say you like it. No, mm -mm, I do not mind sharing my food. But I told y'all how I feel about devil eggs. So this little doohickey, this thing cost me back in Philly in 19. This is when I started doing double eggs. Remember they used to have the round ones, but it didn't have no lid, no carrying case. And then I went to right Aid. There's no right Aid down here. But I went to right Aid in Philly. And I think it was like $7. And I said, I'm never, ever going to get rid of this thing. But if I ever lose it, guess what I'm going to use? The cupcake, uh, the cupcake, um, the things that you put the, the cupcakes, the homemade cupcakes, I'm going to put my double eggs right in there because it has a little handle thing and it has two layers or three layers, I think. But that's how I'm going to do if something ever happened to this. And then look, when you lay it down, it don't take up that much space in the, uh, just lay the handle down see that and it's 432 that's a little fast so i'm gonna start eating these at 4 5 30 so don't forget to leave a comment let me know any ideas or anything you want me to cook because i will be doing seafood salad probably because i forgot the broccoli so probably this weekend because i got to eat the stuff that i'm making because it's only me i live by myself so um but I hope that y'all enjoyed everything. And 530, I'm going to tear these drones up. But right now, I'm about to tear up that fish with my Chick-fil-A sauce on my salmon. This is all I put on there. I already put the seasoning and the turmeric. I already put all that stuff, as y'all saw in the last video. But if I don't use this, I use this to put on my, on my salmon. And the good thing about these two... You can put it on anything, especially the Japanese, the yum yum sauce. Oh man, when they introduced me to this at the hibachi back in Philly, like seven years ago, I was in love. You could put it on vegetables, you could put it on meat, red meat, uh, not red meat, you could put it on steak, hamburger, hot dogs, you could put it on any rice, uh, vegetables, salads. This same freaking thing. Even when I barbecue my, my chicken, because I'm going to do that video for y'all too next week. I use yum yum sauce, barbecue sauce, two dashes of, but anyway, you'll see. I don't want to keep telling y'all because it's already 23 minutes. So thanks for watching and y'all have a great day.